Well, okay, I'll fill you guys in. <laughs> so we just got it in the car. <laughs> what a mission. Got to Victoria Markets to do a little bit of grocery shopping. Hello guys, welcome back to another vlog. First vlog of 2020. Oh my goodness, I am so excited. I'm just going to be doing a daily vlog because I put on my Instagram story yesterday if you guys preferred more like daily vlogs or weekly vlogs and I had so many of you say that you prefer the daily vlogs so I'm gonna do a couple of days this week so I'm gonna do today and tomorrow I'm just gonna open this window I hope everybody has had a really really nice New Year's I feel so weird not filming and some of you guys might have seen I actually started um, filming my what I got for Christmas yesterday so on Sunday but being Monday, it's my first actual day back at work, which is very exciting. How was everybody's New Year's and your Christmas? Let me know in the comments below. I have been a little bit sick. I kind of, well, okay, I'll fill you guys in. <laughs> From December, because as you know, we did Vlogmas. So it was a very, very, very busy period. And I was filming all day and I was editing all night, basically. And then I flew to the Gold Coast from the 22nd until the 2nd of January. And I had something on every single day. I was, it was really nice, but I'm definitely someone who is a homebody and I missed being at home. I missed my space. <laughs> it was beautiful to spend with my girlfriends and have New Year's up there and just spend some really nice quality time with them. So we went to a little bit of a New Year's party on New Year's, which was really awesome and getting all dressed up and doing the wing liner and the lashes and all of that. So yeah, it was really, really nice. And then I was starting to feel a little bit, feeling really run down and like a headache and a little bit of a cough and a bad throat and stuff on the Friday, so just after New Year's. I thought that I had lost my voice because of going out and stuff, but it wasn't that. And then I got on the plane and I got back to Melbourne and I just crashed so hard <laughs> I spent about four or five days on the couch which is so unlike me I just usually I cannot spend any time on the couch because it's just I feel bored but I definitely needed it I was just watching movies and doing Pinterest and just catching up on my YouTube videos and that kind of thing so I've definitely missed it missed being away from you guys but I'm really stoked to be getting back into it and getting back to work. The new year for me is definitely, it's kind of a reset. I love fresh starts and I love um, like kind of resetting your mind and getting ready for the new year. That is exactly what I've done. If you guys follow me over on Instagram, I was talking a little bit about my routines. So I wanted to change up my routine and work out my ideal slash dream routine. So I actually wrote all of that down. So I did a morning routine and then an evening routine and it's something that I'm going to start to get into slowly. I started it this morning actually, I didn't get up at the time that's on there. So I'll read it out to you guys on my wall and I will put it in the description box below as well if you guys would like to keep a copy, you're more than welcome, you can change it up however you wish. I've got 4.45 is wake up, which is very early. Um, and then from 4.45 to 5 a.m. I have two glasses of lemon water and my probiotic as well as like just stretching and breathing. So I'm like waking myself up. So I've only got that on there for about 15 minutes or so. And then I've got from 5 a.m. to 5.30 is read my scriptures and do a little bit of scripture study. I just find it is such a nice way for me to start my day. When I'm reading my scriptures and doing my prayers and stuff, it brings a lot of peace. For me, it's just a really nice way for me to start my day. Um, I learn a lot through my scriptures and how to be a better person and a more loving, more accepting person and not to be someone who's quite prideful and yeah there's it's a, just a really nice way for me to start my day I was doing it in the afternoons but I just didn't really have the same effect so I've kind of changed it to the mornings and then my plan is to go to the gym for half an hour after that and then I'll come home shower skincare breakfast and then at about 7.30, I'm going to be doing morning pages. So morning pages is basically a brain dump. So in the morning, whatever you're feeling, whatever you're thinking, rather than keeping it in your mind, is literally just to write it down on a bit of paper and get everything out, essentially. So I'm going to do that for 10 minutes and then I'm going to do my gratitude for 10 minutes. So just writing down everything that I'm grateful for that day. And then the last one for 10 minutes, so it's a, it's a half an hour block I've got down. 
is setting my goals and my intentions for the day. So I'll show you guys what I've kind of done so far. So I am definitely a very organized person. I, I like to think I'm a very organized person anyway. So I've got my books. It's just, this is the first one, the notebook. And I just labeled it at the top. So that is my daily goals and intentions journal. So I've actually got that open so I can look at it throughout the day today. And then I've got my morning pages journal just here as well. So I've labeled it because I just feel like whenever your book is closed, you have no idea what's in it. So I need like a title page on the outside. And then I've just got this little smaller book for my daily gratitude journal. So I'm going to read a couple that I wrote down this morning. I woke up at seven and the color of the sky was so so beautiful from the sunset so that is the first thing i wrote down i said i'm grateful for this new year and having new goals and a fresh start the opportunity to be able to study in books and learn and grow friends my new routines and yeah a couple of other things so i wrote down about 13 different things and i just set a timer on my phone for 10 minutes and then I just literally sit there and write so I'm not on my phone at all that time will go off and then I'll kind of set another time when I'm doing my next journal <laughs> so yeah that is the plan and then after that eight o'clock get ready for the day so I'll do my makeup and like my outfit and stuff and then I'm going to set a timer for 10 minutes just to tidy up my space and just have a clean fresh start the day essentially it'll just make me stay on top of it as well and it's not dirty all the time um, and then nine o'clock is actually check my phone, reply to comments and start working. And then my plan is to work from nine to five. And then my evening routine, five o'clock finish work. And then five to five twenty, just walk around the dog, walk around the neighborhood with my dog so I can still take them for a bit of a walk and I can get some fresh air as well after my day. 5.30 until six is cook and have dinner. 6 until 6.30 is shower, skincare, body routine. 6.30 till 7 is write out a bit of a plan and a to-do list for the following day. So I'd like to set a timer for 15 minutes just to be still with my thoughts and do a little bit of meditation. Meditation is something that I want to get into this year. I've never really been all that big with it, but I've done it in the past and it's really, really helped me. So I would like to dive into that a little bit more and kind of get to know that a little bit more, learn about it as well. Um, and then I've got seven to eight is make a bit of a tea or make my moon milk hot chocolate before I go to bed and read as well in that hour. Eight until 8.30, blush, brush my teeth and get ready for bed and then 8.30 is lights out. So I need my eight hours. So it is definitely a very, very early bedtime, but I am waking up very early as well. So um, this morning I did not wake up at that time. I woke up at seven. I did all of my journaling, my scripture study and stuff in the morning. Then I went to the gym and then I came home. So it was, I still did everything, but it just wasn't at those time frames. And I think starting something new like this, I just need to dive into it slowly because if I start hard out, I'll probably fall off and it will be very, very hard to maintain. So yeah, I'm just starting slowly. I plan to get some audio books as well because I find reading can take up so much of my time or sometimes I lose time of when I'm gonna do that so I would like to get some audio books so when I'm doing my makeup and stuff I can just listen to it and learn and grow that is my goal for this year as well is to do some learning and growing and just becoming a better person essentially um, I am going to do my goals with you guys in this vlog as well I did you guys would like to see that from my Instagram polls I put up a couple of days ago so we are going to do that together but I just wanted to kind of catch you guys up and have a little bit of a chat because I have missed you <laughs> a lot it's been really weird I'm more than ready to come back to work and really smash out this year I've got some goals in mind and I, like I said I'll go through that with you all but Basically, my plan, just from the top of my head, is I'm going to go back to university, which is a very big deal for me. I have wanted to study this for a really long time, but honestly, there wasn't any courses on the Gold Coast. So I'm going to go and study a diploma of styling, fashion styling, which I'm so excited about. I'm gonna be able to meet so many amazing people and just really learn and grow my skills in my fashion and styling side of things and then whatever I learn I definitely plan to bring 
to you guys and it kind of goes hand in hand with what I want to do so that is my plan that starts in February so I'm going to be flat out it's gonna be a really busy year but I'm really really looking forward to it this morning I did a little bit of work I got this selfie skin package over Christmas and basically it's an at-home IPL laser hair removal treatment so this is the machine just here it has the light at the top and then like the power button and when you like press it to do the laser <laughs> so you hold it down there's a few different like intensity levels and stuff so I'm really looking forward to this because some of you guys might know if you've been following me for a while I used to go to Australian skin clinics all the time to get my laser done and then with COVID and being in lockdown and all the clinics shut I wasn't able to go and get my laser done so everything kind of grew back so I'm really looking forward to trying this out, seeing how it goes, doing a bit of a test and doing it from home. That way I don't have to go to a clinic and get it done. So yeah. <laughs> but pretty much the plan for today, guys, is I'm going to go to Ikea because I'm going to buy a bookcase. I've got so many books. I'll show you guys what I mean. So I'm thinking of putting it like just here don't mind all of my mess that is from me filming my christmas thing yesterday with you guys that i still haven't put away and i've got a lot of like boxes and pr packages that kind of just sits on the floor so i would prefer to have a book shelf and then i can put everything on there and it's so much easier for me to go through and it looks a lot nicer it's not just sitting on the floor and then i'll show you guys in here as well i've also got all of my books and stuff on top of my drawers so these are my drawers that I've got and I've just got some books up there and like all the way up there and I need to clean this whole space out because like my jewelry box I don't use because I can't open it <laughs> so I'm going to fix up my space put it all there and we're going to do it together so I'm gonna go I had a look at uh, Kmart this morning to see what they had and it's too tall and it's not gonna fit in the space so I'm gonna go to Ikea and hopefully find something and then tomorrow i might even show you guys my routine in the morning so i might start filming a little bit earlier that is the plan i'm so excited to be vlogging i literally can't wait but anyway i hope i'm not rambling too much i'll show you guys what i'm wearing it's just a cook eye top that i got a little while ago and then i've got on these shorts these are just from boohoo i believe and i just quickly did my makeup and i've got this little um, necklace on that I always wear. Just got to Ikea and we're walking in right now. It is so hot today, it's literally 37 degrees. So I'm just walking in to hopefully find a bookstore, a bookshelf. <laughs> Alright, so we just got it in the car. <laughs> what a mission. I was so frightened that it wouldn't even fit. We got it. It's in. <laughs> Alright, so this is a bit of an update. The shelves, we've still got a few more shelves to put in. And I've just moved my vision board over to that side over there. And all of this stuff needs to go in the shelves. But it's looking pretty good so far. It'll look so much better when I get everything in. It is quarter past six and I'm hungry. So I'm just going to make spaghetti bolognese for dinner and then have that and probably just start winding down for the night to be honest <laughs> I will put all of this stuff in the bookshelf just like the stuff on my bed so I've had some dinner and I have a little bit more energy now and I'm going to do the bookshelves so yeah my books are gonna go up there I'm gonna put my jewelry box in this big space and then probably I don't really know other books and stuff and then I'm gonna put my PR packages that I get sent down the bottom there and yeah I'm really happy with how it's turned out. It looks really, really good. It's gonna be all nice. I'm gonna try and make it aesthetically pleasing as much as I can. And I put my vision board on this side of my desk so then I can kind of look at it a lot more than I would have over here. Get that manifesting going, you know? <laughs> um, but now I'm going to set you guys up and I'm going to just put my books in there and kind of get it all looking nice-ish and I don't know, I'm just gonna play around with it and see what we do.
Okay, I think for now this is pretty good really. Put all my books and stuff up the top there. My jewellery box and I've just moved a couple of things from my desk um, in here as well. But I think that looks pretty good. Oh, I have the hiccups. <laughs> I've just put everything away. I've decided to put my routines down the bottom, my vision board is here and then I've just put my cross on top of it. There's a fair bit happening. Oh, I put my little plant on the top there as well, so now I'm going to have a shower, have some water, <laughs> just chill out, go to bed because I'm going to try and get up at 6.30 tomorrow instead of 7 to get my routine going and I think I'm going to film it so I can kind of show you guys um, what I do in the mornings or what I'm trying to get into the habit of doing. Good morning guys, happy Tuesday, I have just gotten home from the gym and I am absolutely starving. I feel like I woke up at, what time did I wake up? 5.20. So I just literally sat up, did some stretching so I could like wake myself up. Got changed, brushed my teeth and then left straight away. And I was driving and I'm like trying to keep my eyes open because I haven't, I haven't woken up that early in a very long time. <laughs> Which probably isn't a good thing, but anyway, it's no time like the present. So I got there and I smashed it out. It was one of the really harder ones today. Usually, yeah, Tuesday's class is, is harder than the other ones for some reason. But anyway, I did that and I've just gotten home. I've put up a couple of stories on Instagram because some people are wanting to keep updated with my routine. So I've done that. But I'm just about to have some cereal because I'm so hungry. And then I'm going to have a shower and do some studies. So my timer went off and I was watching a video so I just quickly smashed out my makeup because I need to leave in like 15 minutes and I haven't done any of my gratitude or anything like that. So instead of doing 10 minutes, I'm going to cut it back to 5 minutes and I'm just going to get my books out. Today I'm just going to do these two. So I'm going to do 10 minutes. I'm going to do my gratitude first. Hey Siri, set a timer for 5 minutes. so fast that my um, wrist is starting to hurt a little bit. <laughs> So I've said waking up at 5.20 and it was like easy for me to get out of bed. I'm thankful to have a car to be able to get me places. I'm actually thankful for the weather today. It was 36 degrees yesterday and today it's 19 and a bit overcast and rainy so I can wear like a long skirt. Um, I've said I'm grateful for finding the gym and committing myself to the gym when I did and how much energy and peace it brings me. Having the equipment to do what I love, like my camera, computer, that kind of thing. I'm grateful for having, I've uh, been quite creative and having, like, getting lots of ideas in my head of the kind of content I want to create. They are my goals for today. I mean, my, my what I'm grateful for today, I should say. Um, it is, what's the time? Oh, like 52. Okay, this one's going to have to be quick too. Um, hey Siri, set a timer for four minutes. not enough time <laughs> I would much prefer 10 minutes but anyway I'm on a deadline this morning so five will have to do okay morning pages are done so it's basically just like a brain dump anything that I'm holding on to or anything that I'm thinking about from last night or this morning or whatever I just like put it all down on paper so it's not in my head but I didn't do my daily goals but that's okay it's in my head which isn't good but it's gonna have to do for now. 
I'm just putting on some gloss. I put on a matte lipstick before, but I just want something a little bit different, you know? So I'm going to show you guys what I'm wearing today. Um, I'm going to go and get my leather jacket, I think. Just close this window. And my bag. Um, so I've just got on this long this kind of skirt and then I've just tied up my Calvin Klein like t-shirt I wanted to be like a little bit dressed up but at the same time yeah I wanted to be a little bit dressed up with the skirt but then like casual with the top and stuff I am just going to put on my black crossover bag as well yeah I'm gonna grab my leather jacket my bag and I will see you guys in the car got to Victoria markets to do a little bit of grocery shopping and get some fruit and veggies because I have none. I'm just putting my shoes on. Um, like getting here early so then there's not that many people, although it's only Tuesday, so I don't think there's gonna be many people anyway, which is a good thing. <laughs> I wanna get a pic for Instagram. I think I'm gonna do that now. And then I'll speak to you guys soon. It wasn't that busy at all, actually. It was really quite quiet, to be honest. We didn't even, I didn't even have to wear a mask for a fair bit of it because there was so much space and so many people could walk around but obviously when we went indoors I had to put one on um, but I am just going to start putting everything away I, we got oh my goodness guys look at this Let me just turn that that is a massive box of bananas <laughs> dollar a kilo and completely out of bananas I have bananas in my smoothies every day and we wanted to get like a, a bigger amount that's 15 kilos and we bought it for 14 dollars which is so hectic um so yeah gonna vacuum seal them freeze them it's gonna last for ages but yes i'm just putting away some meat at the moment and i'm just going to listen probably to a podcast on google and we're going to put all this stuff away and then i need to do some work and then I'm gonna go and get my second microgem abrasion, which I'm so excited about. So let's do that. Hey Google, play my podcast. All right, play your podcast on Spotify. Hey Google, turn the volume up to six. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. I'm Brene Brown and this is Unlocking Us. Okay, so I'm listening to a podcast by Brene Brown at the moment. Um, it was fairly new when I first kind of discovered her. She put on a Netflix documentary about the call to courage and I loved it so much. I think I watched it like three times. Highly recommend watching it. Um, and she has a podcast. And I haven't listened to podcasts in ages and it's something that I want to get back into. So whenever I'm doing stuff like this or I'm doing my makeup or in the shower, driving my car, like spare moments like that, that I can be listening to something productive and kind of add value to my life. So yes, I, this is my first one. I'll see how it goes. It's called Unlocking Us. This one is the power of women's stories. All right, I've changed my mind. I'm gonna to listen to the curry on love and hope in troubling times with Bishop Michael. Not too bad. I'm gonna to listen to that while I do my groceries and I will keep you guys updated <laughs> if I like it or not, how it is. open like that and then I can I'm snack on it. Alright, I'm starving after putting all that food away. I'm gonna make wraps. I just got some content for my blog post. I'm going to be uploading um, a blog post tomorrow. I literally haven't uploaded a blog post since the beginning of 2020, I think I did it in, well, I launched the website in March, or May, I 
think May or June is when I kind of like just stopped for a while because I was there was way too much on my plate I was trying to focus on growing my Instagram and then I was trying to start my YouTube and I just had too much going on so I had to drop one thing which was my blogs but I am going to be more stable this year I'm going to put up something every week on every platform is my goal so yeah <laughs> um, I just took some photos for the the what I've been writing up I've just been like sat down here and I had my tripod just here to take the photo and then I had to take a photo of me taking a photo if you guys read it I will put the um, put the blog that I will release tomorrow will already be out by the time you guys see this so if you want to go check it out you can but this is my little makeshift tripod I just have a high chair from the kitchen and I've just put this little poof on top of it and then I had that pillow on top of it as well so you gotta do what you gotta do but I'm gonna put this away okay so I just put all my stuff away and I need to start editing tonight's video I haven't even started editing it yet so I'm going to sit here and get that sorted and then I'm going to go and get my skin done so I need to take all my makeup off before I go all right, I'm gonna put you guys here for one second. told you so I went to the gym on Monday and I, did I, show you I went to the gym on Monday yeah I probably did <laughs> um, but I, anyway I went to the gym on Monday and I forgot to take my gloves and I was like you know what it'll be fine I'll just use my hands it's not a big deal it'll be fine I've, like I've never done that before but I was like whatever it'll be fine I like took the skin off and then I cut in the inside there and then same with my other one like although it's gone yeah that's pretty much gone now but like, what? So hectic. I did not expect that to happen at all. And it was only, it was only one round. And like, usually I hit pretty hard when I have gloves on. And it's fine. But because I didn't have gloves on, it really messed up my hands. So I'm never doing that again. All I had to do was run downstairs because the, the gloves were in my car. Um, and I should have just run down and got them. But I was like, no, it'll be fine. I'll be fine. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that ever again. <laughs> Guys, I got a package. <gasps> oh, I have been waiting for this for, to be honest, it's actually, it's one of those things that have been in my tabs for ages, like probably well and truly over a year. So I'm gonna unbox it with you guys. Got my handy scissors here. Oh my gosh, look at how cute it is from the brand As She Pleases. Oh, it's even be more beautiful in person. Oh my goodness, look at that. So beautiful. Oh, so nice. Quite long too, which I like. Oh, beautiful nice so you can wear it quite that is like the longest one of the longest ones you can wear it if i can just feel it to there oh wow so it can be quite short i think let me see yeah to about there oh i've wanted a cross necklace for ages i had i used to wear um like a silver one when I was at school and stuff, but I'm gold now. I've gone in the gold direction. Everything's gold, all my earrings and everything is gold. So I really wanted a gold one with the little diamantes and stuff in it. Oh, and it's so beautiful. So nice. I will link it in the description box below for you guys as well. If you would like to go and check it out and you want to buy it for yourself. This is probably going to be like my everyday necklace now. Oh, beautiful. All right, I'm going to edit and I'll see you when I'm... It's one, it's quarter to two, so I'm gonna have to go pretty soon. Alrighty, so I've just done a little bit of editing. Like, <laughs> six minutes is done. <laughs> oh, anyway, I'm going to go take my makeup off 
so that I don't have to worry about that when I get into the clinic. It is 2.25, I'm gonna leave in like five minutes um, to get there to my appointment. So I probably won't film it, but I have filmed it many times before. Um, if you guys would like to see what I am getting done, then it is in my previous videos under microdermabrasion full kind of experience. So you're never gonna guess what happened. I got in there, <laughs> put all the stuff on, I put the headband thing on, and then she was basically like, my skin is still, because I've been in the sun and stuff in the Gold Coast, but I like covered my face because I don't like to get my face in the sun. And she said that I still retain heat anyway and my skin is too hot. And it's got, I had like a little bit of peeling and stuff around my forehead and on my nose. And she said that we could do another treatment or just book in another micro. So I just wanted to book in another micro. So I didn't even end up getting it done which is quite annoying, but it is what it is. I can't, there's nothing I can do about it and it could have actually made damage to my skin. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> um, so yeah, I didn't end up going. I just came home. I smashed out editing tonight's video and I just uploaded it, put up a Instagram photo and a couple of stories and stuff for my YouTube. And yeah, I'm just about to have dinner. It is five to seven, so the day has just alone by I feel. Hello guys, so it is a number of days later since I spoke to you guys last. I'm just sitting here editing um, the vlog now because it needs to go up tonight and I just realized that I totally forgot to say goodbye. <laughs> so yeah, I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. I will probably be going back to doing posting once a week just so I can be getting content on every single one of my platforms. So Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and as well as doing a blog post every week or every other week so unfortunately i'm going to have to take it back and only be posting and uploading on youtube once a week but i will see you guys next thursday thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it go below hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye